Hey, Lauren. Well, it seems like just yesterday for some people that this used to be an empty space, but now you got a sheets. Now you have Publix and even more to come. As you can tell just from the freeway, all of this development that's going on. Ellis Crossing is becoming one of the fastest developing areas in the country, which to some residents nearby is not too bad so long as they say it's well managed. A transformation at work. I like it. I do. It's like a little mini city. The 30 acres off of the Ellis Road exit on the Durham Freeway now sprouting as a mixed use development from shops and restaurants to residential and multifamily developments underway. It was just dirt. Pete Suska expanding his downtown Durham business to the outskirts of Durham County. The It's a Southern Thing owner telling me what's different about his business. What we've already noticed in the month and a half that we've been open is our to-go sales are actually 40% higher than they are downtown because of the neighborhoods that we're close to. While growth brings challenges in one boom town, such as traffic congestion in the heart of the Bull City, we have parking, which is an impossibility downtown. There's another growing pain on Ellis Road. We have the, the construction of so much with the giant apartment complexes and everything else. The infrastructure is what struggles. So the internet will go out because somebody hits a line or the power will flash or a lot of those problems is what we've had occur here since we've opened. So that's been a little bit of a learning curve. Some residents at Ellis Crossing wondering how the county will meet the future demand. Affordable housing. They got to have some new schools. There are a lot of families out here, a lot of young children. Uh, so I'm wondering what they're going to do. And I also took a look at the Durham Public Schools boundary map. And so there would be one elementary, one middle school and one high school in the zone for the 2024-25 school year. And as you heard Ziegler, she says there's a lot of young children in the area. So when more people move in, one area of improvement to her would be more schools. Reporting in Durham County, Cindy Bate, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.